you have to really, it really can't understand. Work. It can't work. You have to really understand mm -hmm. culture, business culture, and so on. And mm -hmm. we kind of butted heads too much. We wanted everything to be the same, so it's easy to run similar processes in similar countries. But mm -hmm. you're just going to stand in your own way. The thing that, that I think our artists learned, and which I was very particular about from the beginning, was that I wanted every artist to feel like an entrepreneur. And we called it artpreneurship. Mm. Uh, what I'm referring to is that a lot of the time I see artists um, saying, OK, I will do the project as mm. long as I get the funding. So they apply for funding, and then they wait to get yeah. the funding. So yeah. they will always be on their knees in front of someone with a pot of money. So I said, let's turn that narrative around. Let's have you understand how to do business, how to sell, and how to calculate simple business cases so that you can make ends meet. And then if you get additional funding, let's say by a government, by the European Union, mm -hmm. that's a bonus. And you're good to but go. you don't yeah. rely on it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you will see that the outside funding will come more easily because you'll stand like this because yeah. you're your own man or woman, because you know you can make ends meet, you know your own business. Mm -hmm. You will be taken seriously very differently. You're not beholden to handouts. Mm -hmm. And I think that changed it for us as an organization, but it changed it for a lot of the people we work with as well. And, 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 and I'm looking at also the aspect of uh, uh, the, the youth. Mm. Um, for, for many, we tend to wish for things to happen. And, 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 and you'd want to, you know, want something to take place, yet it is, it, it is a, a challenge. So you, may, you mentioned waiting for handouts, waiting for somebody to come and tell you, you know what, I have something for you, come and, uh, and let's do it. You're sitting there, relax. But the breakthrough doesn't always come in that way. You have to go and or get immediately. it. Or, or yeah. immediately. Or yeah. immediately. You, you, sometimes it may work. Sometimes you may get yeah. actually, depending on whether you believe that God can be able to give you that, that grace. Yeah. But for many youths, they face that challenge. And uh, you end up being so relaxed and, 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 and mellow. So what would be your advice to many who... <laughs> are struggling <laughs> so, to, to get that. I, I mean, if, if I'm a bit flippant and say it in one sentence, it's yes. don't be mellow. <laughs> don't be, <laughs> don't be, be, be sharp. Yeah, get out yes. of bed and, and, and hustle. Like, Because you're, you're, you're never going to beat someone who outworks you, right? So your calling card, your business card, is your work ethic, especially when you're younger, before you sort of settle in and you get to decide a little bit what you work on. In the beginning, you have to, you have to work hard. But then the other thing, and this is perhaps a bit bit more simple, a bit more applicable to, to, to all of all of us. Um, don't tell me what you can do. Show me. Yeah, show me. And, and, and that's a problem. We, we, we don't end up doing what we need to do to make ourselves go out there and get yeah. what we need. But, but show me. I mean, I can, right, I can tell you how I can help you, yeah. or I can just start working with you, right? Mm. And what, are, what do I have to lose? A little bit of time, but I'll learn something. Yeah. I'll learn something about you. Yeah. What would I be doing otherwise? Netflix. Right. So, so it's it's not a people are people are people need to be humble enough. Mm. Uh, everyone, not just just young people. Everyone, everyone. We need to be humble mm. enough to put in the work and not feel insecure about the fact that someone might take advantage or something might not happen as a result. And I've wasted time. No, you haven't. You've learned. You've worked. So go for it. But uh, but, but then how do you protect yourself from um, outside or external uh, 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 dangers? as dance team international because you know they will, competition will always be there and people will always come to you know uh, try and knock you down oh then, yeah yeah then how, how do you protect yourself yeah. from um dangers that are external copyright issues Oof, lots of, <laughs> it's lots of questions there so, so yeah, I mean, yeah. I, the, the first time i noticed that i'm a little bit famous was when i started getting hate mail on my blogs exactly and it, that was quite fun i was quite i was quite happy i said to myself this is this is great i've been noticed because someone's written me a whole message saying like uh, you're boring, you're always saying the same things. And I'm like, mm. well, I'm okay. narrating my experience. And did you respond? Uh, that time I did, it was early on, right? So that, I said, first of all, um, so one, I'm narrating my experiences. Mm -hmm. I, I, do you want me to make up things? Okay. <laughs> and, two, and two, thank you for reading all my blogs, you're a fan. 
Thank right. you. So, uh, but then the other question about protecting yourself about, yeah. uh, I, mean, I mean, one easy one is you, you need to get up earlier than, than the competition. But, but still, even those who, um, on, pre on, on what you said previously, even those who come and attack you online and attack what you do and what you say, you also need to find a way of protecting yourself from such things. You need to find a way of, 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 of saving yourself so that you yeah. don't get hurt from that. I think, I think a big win for, for any of us is when, when we become so sure about our path and where we're going that we can become to a level immune to the judgment of others, we're much better off. And, and to all the artists out there, if, if you're, you're hustling hard to put, put your music out and someone goes and comments, ha ha ha, your song is shit, um, you know, despite <laughs> the fact that they've never ever written anything or putting, putting themselves out there at all, yeah. um, haters want what you have. And they can't it's get it. It's that simple. Yeah. Haters want what you have. That's why they're commenting, right? Mm -hmm. Move on. Move, Move on. on from these people. Move on. Uh -huh. and now, there are other external factors that uh, you do, uh, that, that you get, those who try to you know, bring you down uh, in terms of business competition. You're mentioning wake up early. Yeah. Yes, <laughs> it's, very, it's very simple. Mm -hmm. uh, I get my, I mean, right now it's, it's, um, it's five o'clock in the UK. Yeah. I'm here. Right, so I got up at 3 UK time, I arrived yesterday um, to be here this morning with you, which, mm -hmm. which I love. Mm -hmm. um, and I have the whole day ahead of me. Why wow. not? Oh. Um, it's the best way to make sure that I have enough hours in the day and mm -hmm. that I get enough sleep so that I'm sharp enough. Mm -hmm. uh, I think that's an easy one. I think what we now do with social media a lot is we, we're going to go on our phone, we're going to spend four or five hours on our phone, we're going to watch something in the evening until we fall asleep. Mm -hmm. And if you start looking at your, your daily schedule and realize that you've actually wasted six hours doing something that's not going to take you toward your dreams, mm -hmm. that's a little bit sad. <laughs> right? <laughs> uh, Harry. Let me ask you one question. And of course, I know this will... Uh, uh, just on a light note, though. Have you found yourself in a position where in a day you, 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 you've wasted time and uh, you're thinking, okay, this is unnecessary, but I, I just want to do it anyway? Last time I checked, I was still human. So, 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 <laughs> so, so, so yes, I think, yeah. I think the, the important thing is, I think it all comes from purpose. I, people call the, the current generation lazy, and I think it's, a, it's, it's a, 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 something with the human condition that the older generation always thinks the younger generation is lazy because mm. they've forgotten what it's like. Yeah, yeah. Um, I don't think, I see millennials and they're not lazy. Sometimes they are unmotivated. When you're motivated, mm. you move. When you're not yeah. motivated, you're not going where, you, you don't know where you're going, mm -hmm. then mm -hmm. you don't move. You don't move. And so, yeah. so when, you, when you understand your purpose and when you understand how you can take action towards that purpose, it makes everything easier. And yeah, yeah of course you waste time. And it's, it's actually quite pleasant sometimes to just drink the coffee for longer or have another one. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Um, but at the same time, you don't make that a habit. Make mm -hmm. the other side a habit and work on that. Mm -hmm. If you mm -hmm. work on your work ethic, everything else will follow from that. Yeah. You know, sometimes uh, people get, you know, um, as, as, as you call it, lazy. Where, mm -hmm. of course, we do not quite understand then what is the line that we need to draw yeah. between resting and being lazy. You just choose, okay, today let me just watch Netflix. Today let me, let me watch a football match. Of course. Yeah. And then you, 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 sleep, you end up sleeping late because you're watching a match. <laughs> and, yeah. Most people do that. <laughs> he he knows I watched the Atlético United match <laughs> last night until one o'clock. So, <laughs> nice one. Did you love um, the match? Uh, I, I did the fight in it. I loved the fight in it. Yeah. So so and I, I think uh, look I, this I, I think I need to make this very clear because people are going to go like oh man he's he's he, this is this is damaging like he's saying don't sleep work re a lot. Yeah yeah. I'm not saying that mm -hmm. right. So it, you, you see all these videos circulating saying millionaires don't sleep. Mm -hmm. It's not true. If you if you Google that or YouTube that, you'll find Jeff Bezos saying he sleeps eight hours. You'll find Elon Musk saying he sleeps seven plus. Um, and how, how, how many hours do you sleep? Six minimum. Six okay. to seven. Six to seven. Average. Mostly six. I try to sleep seven. It's, it mostly ends up at six, six and a half. Yeah, yeah. Um, Me but, too. I, I find it hard to sleep at seven. To sleep for I'm seven excited hours. in the morning, so I get, get out of bed because I'm motivated. But yeah. I'm, I'm not, look, you sleep six, you sleep seven, you sleep eight, you sleep nine. That, that doesn't matter. If you... Mm. If you sleep for that amount of time, right, you still have 16 hours. You sleep eight hours, you have 16 hours in the day. Mm. I'm not so interested in what you do in your eight hours at night and you, maybe your eight hours in your day job. But if you have a dream that's not your day job, you'll have another eight hours. So I want to know what you're doing in those eight hours. Is it three hours of Netflix? Mm -hmm. uh, 
um, or, or what is it, right? So, so we're not talking about sleepless. We're talking about how well you use the hours that you're left with in the day. When you're awake. Absolutely, yeah. I love that. I love that because that's what matters. It's not about trying to get a timetable. You, you, you sleep. Some, you know, some sleep for three hours. They intend to be active throughout the whole day because they want to be millionaires. And you read articles online, you see somebody when they're millionaires by 20, and yeah. you're 35 years old, you're wondering, what, they, what are you doing with your life? I, so I, I, think, I think we sometimes also misinterpret these. So there's, there's, there's some interesting books out there, The, the Four-Hour Workweek yeah. by Tim Ferriss, right? So it's a, it's a good book. It's interesting. It's saying you can, you can get, you can survive by four hours a week, right? People misinterpret that. The actual message there, to uh, me, is much more, um, you can do so much yeah. in focused four hours. When mm. you first decide what are you going to focus on, what, are you going, what action are you going to take, try mm. that one time. Throw away the phone and work for four hours on something. You get mm. so, you'd be surprised how much you get done. Mm. And that's the message there. It's not, it's not about do you work 50, 60, or 70 hours a week. It's mm. how much work do you get done in the 50 hours that you work. Now, as an individual, how do you balance all of that? Because now you, you mentioned you, 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 you have business in Arusha, yeah. and of course uh, in London, if, if I got you right. Yeah, yeah. And of course here in Nairobi, and in other places that uh, you've not mentioned. But then how do you balance that? And what makes you choose that this is the best place for me to spend most of my time as an individual? Yeah, That's heavy. Um, so the, the balance comes from, I, I, um, I found ways with, with actually professionals who are really good at this. Mm. Um, I, I try to maximize my energy throughout the day. So mm -hmm. it means that I need to take certain types of breaks. I need to move between different types of work. I do a bit of meditation. I exercise every single day. Ah. I get my energy up in the morning. I, if I need it, I'll do another set of exercise at five o'clock in the afternoon to mm. get the second wind for the evening. Mm -hmm. And then I have a secret weapon. So shout out to the guys at Aura. Ah. So some people use Fitbits. I have what? this ring, which what? does the same as a Fitbit. Oh, it monitors my sleep. Um, it's a Finnish company. I was an early investor in uh, some years ago. Now the NBA players in the US use this. Somebody should get, get um, a shot of this. Uh, AuraRing.com. Uh, ah. um, they're fantastic. So this monitors my sleep rate. This tells me how much mm. energy I have, how well I've slept, what my heart rate is, what my temperature is. It's, it's um, electronically... It has the mic several microchips in it and, and, and sensors. So, so I'll always know uh, how I wow. need to balance my day, mm -hmm. um, which is incredibly helpful. Um, and to, to your other question, London's a great city to live in um, <laughs> because it's, it's in the heart of the world. It's between, in a way, between east and west. It's, it faces the US. It's, it's, it's six hours from New York. Mm. It's a good place um, to do business, huh? Great place to do business. Direct flights to Nairobi, which, which yeah. I value, value massively. Yeah. Uh, you leave in the morning, you're here in the evening. The mm. next day, uh, if, if you're lucky, you get to be in a TV studio with your good friend Ram. <laughs> uh, and so, uh, great place for Thank now. you. And Arusha? Why Arusha? Nairobi, between balance. Um, and of course, um, there is somebody who, is, who, who, who keeps on asking me in my ear, why do you choose, uh, how do you choose which place to, uh, uh, to uh, do business as opposed to another? I, some, sometimes I, I think we, we, we overthink these things. Sometimes huh. things happen, right? So I'm a people person. So a lot of the time businesses have come because I've seen an opportunity and then I've met someone who's seen the same opportunity and we've teamed up, right? And that was true for Arusha. That was also true for London. And, and so I, I don't sort of go around doing a ton of market <laughs> research saying, oh, I should probably now set up shop in Krakow because uh -huh. the tax rate is low. Yeah, yeah. I, I look at the opportunity and I look at the people that come with the opportunity because mm -hmm. just knowing that, and no disrespect meant uh, friends in, in Kigali, but mm -hmm. you, look at, you look at Rwanda and everyone says it's great for business. Well, mm -hmm. that's great, but I don't know anyone there. So why so, would I go so, and do business there? Oh, yeah. You, have to, 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 you must have somebody. You need to who, have your network. Your network. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. It's not about currency, it's not about uh, uh, the place, it's just about the network that you have in that place. I'm sure there's a lot of bankers and other people out there who would disagree with me, right? This is just how I roll. Yeah. But yeah. I'm a people person first. So I, the first thing I did before I even came here, I reached out to my network and said, I would like to have two people to work with me this whole week and mm -hmm. to be with me. Mm -hmm. um, and that's, that's how I roll because people know people and mm. people know good people mm -hmm. and otherwise i mean if you google an agency to help you you're always going to be somehow mm -hmm. shortchanged yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Um, um, let's talk about dance team international and um, 
and I'm, I'm drawn to the fact that uh, you work with different people. Now, how do you acquire these teams that you, and, and you bring them into Dance Team International and uh, motivate them, educate them, and, and bring them out and sell them out, sell their talent out and you know, expose them and make them become what they want to be when they wanted to join that particular uh, in, uh, space? That's a, I mean, I'll answer that a little bit more generally, actually, mm -hmm. not just Dance Team back in the days, but when it was at its, in its heyday, but also mm -hmm. my more modern, my, my newer companies. I mean, yeah. the one thing that you have to define very quickly is a very, very clear vision. And you need to be able to explain the vision in 90 seconds to everyone. Okay. And you, you need, because people stop listening. <laughs> and after, after that. After that, very easily. If, you, if they don't understand it, yeah. after 60 to 90 seconds, uh -huh. um, they stop listening. And you need to be resilient enough in your vision so that when people start poking holes in it and saying, well, that's a stupid idea, or have you thought about this, mm -hmm. you're able to push back. Yeah. When you have, the first thing people want to know is how and why. So, so yes. you have to have a vision. And that vision and their part in that vision will motivate them. Mm -hmm. right? So if I define a vision about how we're going to change the world together and I'll explain your role to you, you're much better off than if I say, here's a salary, I want you to do marketing. Right? Yeah. There needs to be something bigger and that motivates people. And then if, if you're, it's a mixture of, of luck, acumen and the right people, it starts living by itself. It's a living, breathing organism a company is. Right? So mm -hmm. it starts taking on forms that you didn't even imagine. When good people meet, they don't come to take your work or do your work. There'll be more work for everyone because yeah, good people yeah, come yeah, up with new yeah, ideas. Yeah. Because you need to answer the question, why? Absolutely. Why are we yeah. doing that? Absolutely. Yeah. And I found that, that uh, the further we've come along, so the, the younger the people, the more they require that vision. So millennials will always want to hear about the sustainability of the business, the values that we bring, mm -hmm. uh, what difference will they make if they join my company? Mm -hmm. What difference in the world will they make? What will be their calling card? Will they be proud talking about it mm -hmm. uh, to their friends and family or will they be a little bit shy because they're just doing it for the money? Yeah, yeah, and, and, and that's the difference. Because many want to do it for the money. I mean, I'm not hating on the money. I mean, we, we, we all need it, <laughs> oh, we right? All so, need it. We all so love that, it. That's, uh, yeah. So yeah. that's that's not that's that's not what I'm saying. I think mm. I think people now expect both. They expect money and purpose. Mm -hmm. They go hand in hand for them. Mm. But uh, at this time, you do you do community development? Is that right? Uh, well, uh, on occasion, I don't, I don't, I don't hold that up on a pedestal. I don't, I don't talk about that so much. It's, it's for me. It's, it's for my family. It's yeah. for my friends. But mm -hmm. it's not. I, I can't stand the social entrepreneurs, who go around taking pictures with orphans and all that jazz and with stray dogs and uh, what have you, <laughs> and then saying like, look, I'm such a good person. Mm -hmm. um, um, do business with me. So those things are for me. Yeah. Um, it's about having the integrity to do the right thing when no one's watching. Uh, and so, mm -hmm. uh, yes, I, I, I it's do. It's not about that you take a photo. No, I do what I can. Um, the people who, who, who I've, I've worked with and helped, you know, you yeah. know, but yeah. that's it. It doesn't, it's not for the world unless they want to share. It's mm -hmm. not my story to share. Mm -hmm. But we should do that more. I think so. And I think uh, one of the easiest ways for young people to get really good work experience is to volunteer. Yeah. Um, there's one of those things where your first job that you do for money, you might start quite low down, mm. be an assistant or something. Mm. But when you volunteer, when you work for free, when you help people in need, you start much higher. You get much more responsibility because the need is there. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So you might be an assistant in a store at the age of 17, but you might be a project manager yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. bringing uh, supplies to a, to a community school, for instance. Mm -hmm, so it's, mm -hmm. it's fantastic for your CV, for your experience, and of course for, for how you feel, right? mm -hmm. for your confidence. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But, but it's good that they know you're, you're, you're actually doing something for people. I think it's, 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 it's good. Uh, I'd like huh? to think you feel, I feel slightly, uh, slightly embarrassed <laughs> at this moment. So. But I, I think it's good. Uh, yeah, you, you're yeah. doing a good job. You yeah. see, um, I, 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 somebody was having this conversation with me uh, uh, a few days ago. It, it was on, on, on Monday. And uh, they were telling me that, uh, you know, we, we would like to talk about the bad things more than you talk about the good things. Oh, yeah. We like to talk about the bad things more, the, the bad things people do as opposed to the good things people do. 
I think it's cool to talk about the good things you do. You're right, and if I, this is if you've triggered me on how, uh, a topic that I absolutely <laughs> love. So, so did you know? And, and yeah. I'm sure you knew. It, maybe the audience didn't yet. So, yeah. um, it, neuroscient scientifically, we are wired in a way that in our mind, five negat one negative equals five positives. Right. So, yeah. if I say one bad thing to you and three mm. nice things, you still think poorly of me because yeah. we are wired that way as humans. So negative news affect us much more, which means that you get clicks and comments with negative news much more easily than, than with positive, positive ones. News, yeah. And it's all in, in the human evolution. It was very useful for us to be risk averse and to be worried about negativity, right? Mm -hmm. If you saw something with big teeth, mm -hmm. you better go hide in a cave, yeah. right? So that was, that in terms of evolution, when we were not enlightened beings, but more closer to, to animals back mm. in the days, mm. in the caveman days, mm. that was very useful as a, as a survival mechanism. Mm. Now we need to work very hard on the positivity because only positivity and optimism changes the world. Yeah. I, can't, I don't know a single pessimist who's changed the world. Do you? No. Anyone who always complains? <laughs> no, no. No, because negativity is easy to do. If you look at comedians, right, mm -hmm. it's easy to make jokes about bad things that happen to people. It's difficult to make positive jokes, happy jokes. Yeah. It is. It really can't is. Can't think of yeah. Yeah. So, huh. so that's it. You can't think of a single pessimist. Um, if if you're there in the audience, you're on social media right now. Send us your favorite pessimist who completely changed the world. <laughs> um, but I guarantee you, you're not going to find as many pessimists as you're going to find optimism. Optimists. You're right, man. You're right, Henry. You're right. And 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 and, and I love that. And of course, uh, when you go out two people and, 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 and you bring them on board, uh, how, how is their reaction and, and, and what is it that touches you and motivates you when you go there and, 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 and you're doing all these things and then it moves you and when you sleep at night that's the first thing, that, that's the last thing you think about and it, it just gives you the motivation to wake up the next day and do it again. I think, I think sleeping well at night has to do with, with, with whether you feel satisfied and that you've made the right choices as a man during yes. the day. Yes. Right, so I, I yeah. strive for that, and mm -hmm. then I don't have to worry about my sleep. But the other thing, when bringing people on board, that one's a, a bit of a loaded gun. Because <laughs> um, uh, half the time, and I know it, I see it in people's faces, the people look at me like, who's the damn cheerleader? <laughs> <laughs> like, what, what is this? Like, he's, he's talking a, a, a hundred words a minute and yeah. he's just cheerful and grinning all the time. And, and I was conscious of that when I was a younger man. I was a little bit worried. I toned it down a little bit. I wore, okay. I wore gray suits and all that. And, mm. uh, and then I realized that I'd, actually what we need to be is we need to be consistent in our personality. And my personality is cheerleader. Mm -hmm. So now I'm very openly the cheerleader. Wow. Wow. That's how it goes, and that's how you don't have to wonder how you're supposed to be. You're just going to be yourself. Everyone else is taken anyway. Mm -hmm. There's only you. One thing that, or I'll just to mention, but a few things that when you look back upon that touched you when you went out to the community and uh, you, you you managed to to you know uh, uh, serve in one way or another. Uh, another. Can you remember that one thing that? I really love seeing people win. That's my that's my poison. That's my drug. Right. I yeah. love seeing people win and then telling the story later. Mm -hmm. I, I do things a lot for, for something that when I say like he's going to come back in three years or she's mm -hmm. going to come back in three years, send yeah. me an email saying like this changed my life. So, so the, the company that, that you also saw with, with the line logo called Empire Motion, um, the, fir the cohort that I had two years ago, every single one of them, six people, every single one of them has doubled their income since then. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So that, that motivates me. So mm -hmm. I come back, they, they come back to me and say like, look, it was tough what we, what we tried with you for 10 weeks, what you made us do. Now we've doubled our income and mm -hmm. we're happier. Mm -hmm. right? And so that motivates me massively. I want wow. to see people win. Um, I love that. And it, it's not easy for, for, for somebody to have that kind of a heart. Because for others, when they see others win, they become jealous and they say, I wish I was the one winning. But they, they make a mistake there with their thinking. Imagine if all my network wins. My God, I rise high. Yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah, my network, yeah. the people around me will lift me up. Mm -hmm. If you have more, I have more. And if I have less? I have, have less. less, absolutely. Imagine, very easy maths, right? Mm, yeah. Uh, if you had less cameras, I'd have less fun now. <laughs> right? You had less lights, right? It's, it's, a very, it's very simple maths. We all have more if we all have more. Yeah. And, and, and we, we forget that. We, for us to be uplifted, we need to uplift other people. 
Well, that's that's entirely right. And uh, Bill Clinton said it already back in the 90s. He mm -hmm. said, um, the leaders of tomorrow will be those who empower others. Um, and it's entirely true. <laughs> and it's, it, it's funny how people think of humanity as a zero-sum game. We have mm -hmm. too many people on the planet. If you, if you take this, there won't be enough for me. It's never been like that. We're more people than ever. We're still OK. It's We're okay. still growing. We're still doing things. Mm -hmm. I, I, I want you to just give me a brief uh, outline or overlook. You've uh, been in so many countries. 15, 16? 15. 22 that I've spoken in uh -huh. and 15 that I've done business in. Yeah. Or oh, 15 business yeah. and 22 you've spoken in. Um, you've interacted with so many youths. What are some of the common mistakes you, you've seen uh, people make and then you'll be like, I wish you knew the right thing to do. The common things, and, 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 and you look at them, and just, this, you, you just feel moved. You know, you, mm -hmm. have you ever seen somebody do something and you feel like just removing them so you can do it yourself? Yeah. <laughs> but the thing is, I think everyone deserves to make their own mistakes. I think one big mistake that people make is they never take action because they're worried about it going wrong. Mm. So which means that they'll think about it for 10 days instead of taking action on the first day, getting it wrong, learning from it, doing it again on the second day, by the third day, they are much further advanced than, if they had, than on day 10 if they had just thought about it. Yeah. So I call it analysis paralysis. People get yeah. paralyzed by yeah. their thoughts. So they never take action. So my, my advice is just take lots of action, especially when you're young. What do you have to lose? Time. Mm. You're losing it anyway by overthinking it. Mm. So go for it. Um, and so the, the one thing that I, that I see is, is uh, people, or two things actually. One is um, people not believing in themselves enough to simply take action because they have everyone in their ear saying you should become an accountant or look at your brother, he's a doctor, or mm -hmm. uh, you'll never get the girl if you're wearing that, or whatever it is. There's so much negativity going on. People mm -hmm. refrain from taking action until all of a sudden they're, you said 35, so all of a sudden they're 35 with man. I wish I'd taken action 15 years ago, right? So that's one, and the other one is, is lacking patience. Yeah. So they're a little bit contradictory. One is taking action a lot, but the other one is the progress needs to come quickly, but the results can come later, as long as you take the right kind of action. And people are so impatient. People want to take the picture in the pool or with the private jet now. I'm like, learn Photoshop. But then yeah. do the right things because <laughs> you want to, you're building for life, you're building for legacy, you're building for something that your family can rely on in the next generation and the next and the next. Mm -hmm. You're not building for a photo because you think that will get you the girls. Because yeah. that doesn't work. Speaking of girls, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Why is everyone laughing? <laughs> Why are you laughing? <laughs> it's had to come up, of course. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a morning show. It's had to come up. No, but, but I want to ask that question. What I want to ask is, the support that you've got, yeah. who, who, who are those people that you'd say are like your pillars? I know many don't, don't ask this question. I don't know if you've been asked such. Who are those people that if you look up to, uh, you, you look back on, you're saying that if it are not for so and so, they have been my pillars. I would not be who I am today. They have defined me, they have molded me, and they have uplifted me as my pillars. Yeah, I think, I think early on, um, I think early on, uh, it's always good in these instances, just in case they're watching, to mention the parents. Yeah. Uh, so, <laughs> so, so my parents are very, very different to me. They're very risk averse. They're very unentrepreneurial. And I, I have everything to thank them for because I think I would have been too much a risk taker without them. Yeah. So I have that balance. I always have my, my, my dad's voice in my ear saying, like, yeah. Ooh, be careful, that could go wrong. Mm -hmm. So that's been, been nice and balancing. And of course, family, as, as you know, is very important. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But then there's been, there's been fantastic bosses and mm -hmm. business mentors who've, mm -hmm. who've even to this day I mean I was I was launching a product this Christmas and and uh, my old strategy coach from when I was in my early 20s called and said it's a terrible idea and I was like okay. well, what, do you, what, what do you know what, what do you mean what do you what do you know this is my business and he was like have you thought of these three things and I was like damn he's yeah, right yeah he's right and yeah. so I yeah. started iterating the whole thing and and because these people, the people that you hold in great esteem, you're always the little boy, right? When you've mm. known them for very long, so you always want to impress them. So you're still working towards, um, towards uh, getting it right and, and listening to them. And I think, 
I think uh, going through that transition of being a young man who doesn't listen to anyone mm. to having certainty and going forward at a, at a push and listening even less to realizing you should have probably listened mm -hmm, mm -hmm, to balancing mm -hmm. yeah. um, who you need to listen to and who mm -hmm. not. Mm -hmm. And, and this, I think there's a piece of advice here for all the young artists, entrepreneurs uh, on, on the channel. Um, we take so much advice from, we, we listen to criticism, we are hurt by criticism from people mm -hmm. that we would never take advice from. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Uh, and so, so that's the thing that I think, I think we, we must stop as, a, as an internal process. We mm -hmm. need to not uh, listen to people. Uh, if people don't have what you have and they haven't gone on the path that you want to be on, don't listen to them. Exactly. They have nothing to teach you. People tell you to do what they did, and you look at them and you're like, yeah, Grandma, but you're not happy. <laughs> uh, I want to be happy. And, and, and Grandma's yeah. like, you should marry a good man. You yeah. should do this. And I'm like, yeah, Grandma, but that's what you did, mm -hmm. and it didn't even work for you. Mm -hmm. And you're just saying that because at least it could have been worse. Mm -hmm. So you're giving that advice. And I'm like, don't drown it, out it, these It won't work for right? me. Exactly. So find the people who are where you want to be in 10 years. Mm -hmm. right? you, know, you should always have two heroes in my mind. One is someone who has what you want to have in 10 years, and then you in 10 years. Right? So the future you should always be your hero as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love that, Harry. I love that. I love that. And uh, of course, um, I, I want to bring this conversation to a close uh, because of the interest of time. But as you wrap it up, what would be your final word to that Kenyan youth? And of course, not just Kenyan, because I know many are watching, <laughs> even, even from uh, uh, outside the country. What would be your advice to that youth, that young person who is watching you today and uh, wants to make up something for themselves and is trying to make up a, a plan of some sort, but uh, they're stuck and they don't know what to do next? Of course, as you wrap it up also, anything just within a, uh, uh, like a, a minute or so, have a final word. And that's a problem. So, so, so two. Yeah. So two. So, yeah. so, so one is take more action. It's that simple. Okay? Mm -hmm. Take more action. Get it wrong. Be laughed at. Don't care about that. You're working towards something that's in the future. Okay? The people who take action early on are the ones who are going to win. Mm -hmm. um, and you have everything you need. You've got the language, the technology, the size of the market, economic growth. You've got youth on your side. Kenya is a fantastic place. Yeah, yeah. Number two, mm -hmm. Napenda Kenya. I love you guys. Henry, you do you dance? Um, I uh, broke my ankle. <laughs> I dislocated my ankle. You dislocated your ankle. Yes. Sorry. And so Sorry. I've, I've been I've been very careful. So I uh, ah. work out in the gym now. Sorry. Are you asking me to dance? I thought I should. <laughs> well, we can always do a, a, some, something simple, like a simple breakdance move or something that's... You can breakdance? Uh, no I, longer. I can do a few easy tricks and freezes, so, so we can always do it. If you, if you give me a beat and you do the... you, you dance in the background, you dance, <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll try and see if I can do this in a suit. I, I think I'm you'll, not sure. you'll embarrass me. I, I, I won't. I'll just do one move, if you ask me to. By the way, this uh, is not planned, guys. He just, he just <laughs> asked me now. I, I, it was not planned. It was not planned. <laughs> I, I, I don't even... Jeffrey, you have a song there, or, or, or a beat, or do we just... Do, uh, I'll just show you a move, okay? Um, um, oh, that's okay, that you, I can still do, because oh. I don't need my feet for it. Oh. Okay. Oops, oh, I, have, yeah. I have a microphone. Okay. No, you can, you can, you can remove I'll, I'll that. I'll do it with the mic, I'll do it no. with the mic. Okay, you, you so, the, the so mic. one of the things okay. that, we, that we do um, to, to, to build muscle and to, to, to warm up is we do freezes, right? So break dancing does freezes, so we do... Oh! Oh shit, that's My so God. Worked, right? <laughs> so, so those things are muscle memory, so you don't forget them. Okay. Um, um, are we finishing on a dance now? Yeah, almost, almost, almost. Um, let me, let me try. So, you... <laughs> so, so... I... Yes, I yes, so you need to put the lower knee, that uh, knee, on this elbow. This knee? On, on that this elbow. elbow. Yeah. This knee. And this knee? Yeah. And that knee in the air. In the air. Yes. So there you go. <laughs> you need to move the the there. Oh, ah, here you go. <laughs> I right. managed. Uh, well done. That's thank you. Thank you, man. Thank, thank you, so man. Thank you, man. It's been a pleasure. At, at least those are a few dance tips. You have another. <laughs> Do you have another? Well, there's always uh, the sideways shuffle, right? So oh, if yeah. you can't think of anything else, but that one, <laughs> that one we really need a beat to. But that is the director of dance team international. 
Yeah. You wouldn't have been where you are if you didn't know how to dance. I love your style, man. Hmm? And I love yours. I'm glad I got the memo <laughs> about the blue suit, suit and time. Yeah, it was not also planned. <laughs> <laughs> Thank but you, guys. It's been an absolute pleasure. Thanks for coming. Love being here. I, I appreciate it. I appreciate it. And of course, that brings us to the end of this whew, particular conversation. <laughs> <laughs> it, Glad to continue at any time. Yeah, thank you so thank much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Uh, 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 and that brings us to the end of this particular conversation. You can have your seat there. Uh, keep engaging with us. The hashtag is why in the morning. We still have some more artists coming your way right here on Y254. Talk to us. Uh, Harry, thank you so much for coming. Thank and you so course, much. And uh, of uh, course, stay tuned for more right here on Y in the morning. Woo.